Hello guys, it's Strike man. Welcome back to another post-match reaction, man. So today we we're gonna be talking about Egypt versus DR Congo in the 2019 man African Cup of Nation Group A. Uh, this game ended in a 2-0 win for Egypt, man. Egypt has won their last two games, uh, scoring goals and not conceding any goals, man. So that's why I, I, that's one of the main reasons I'm in, um, impressed with Egypt so far, man. So far they have been very impressive uh, defensively. Their goalkeeper is very good, man. Um, El Mohammadi. Uh, man of the match, bro. Superb game by him defensively, um, going forward and scoring an opening goal, man. So Egypt defensively is one of the best teams so far in the tournament, and I think yo, you need defense to win, um, win tournaments, man. Defense win championship, man. That's the American way. Uh, that's what we say in America. That's what we say in um, like American football, NFL. Defense win championship, man. And that that that's what that's it for all the sports, man. And uh, they have a very good defense, very good midfield. Um, El Nini had a poor game today, man. Poor game overall. Ahmed did very well. Uh, Tresaquet, uh, Tresaquet, bro. Tresaquet, man. To me, man, right now, I think he's the best player out there for Egypt right now. Um, he's scoring. He's having assists. He's out there nutmegging player. He's just like dribbling skills off the chain. It's, it's just impressive, bro. He has been my. He has been so far my favorite Egyptian player right now in the tournament. He's been the key guy for me. And um, if Egypt is going to win this man, then then definitely going to need a uh, a Mohamed Salah that's going to score on a regular basis, that's going to provide goals, assists, and also man keep Tresaquet um fit, keep him um keep him in that in that in that, in that left wing position, bro. And they're definitely going to do well. And uh, Congo man, you're a Congo man. Their second loss right now, they're at the bottom of the table with zero points. Uh, they lost the first game, I believe, to Uganda, and now they lost to um Egypt, bro. They did create a lot of chances. Did have a lot of opportunity. They had, they out shoot. Um, they had ten more shots than um than Egypt man. But most of their shot was being blocked by the goalkeeper L um El Shin El Shinawe, man. El Shinawe, probably saying his name wrong, but he's been superb. Bro. Probably one of the best goalkeepers so far in the tournament. I, I, he's been very impressive so far, man. Egypt man, they pass the ball very well going forward. Go down, going down the flank with um Hel Mahamadi. Um, Ahmed and Salah on, on that right side, bro, it's a problem, him on the right side. On the left side, they got Trisiget, bro, too, man. In the midfield, they got, um, midfield, Ahmed, Ahmed did very well, but El Nene did really do well. Uh, picked up a yellow card, and, uh, Saeed, man, Sa side, side, man, he was very poor overall, man. Definitely got to step it up, step it up, man. I think he was one of the worst players out there for... Um, for Egypt also um, Ashraf man. He had an average game not a poor game, but an average game definitely got to step it up step it up a little bit But very good win for Egypt overall man. The first goal came in the 25 26 minutes with um, El Mohammadi uh, scored man pretty much a scramble inside the box and uh um, the, the the DR Congo plays and goalkeeper man DR Congo's play was pretty much confused. There was a little scramble. They couldn't get rid of the ball. Hel um, Hel Mohammadi um, took a shot at the ball. Score man, because the goalkeeper was pretty much um, he didn't know what direction to go in. He, he, he looked very uncomfortable, um, off balance. So that goal um, put him. They put it in the, to his right side man, and he was too like wobbly to really get to it man so 1-0 in the 25th minute and right before halftime it was uh Mohamed Salah bro great goal by him uh pretty much surrounded by two goalkeeper pretty much did a little starter fake starter kick and uh just took it and uh scored a beautiful goal man goalkeeper was couldn't even get to it but yo the game could have ended in a 2-2 draw man because uh DR Congo man it, it, it was not the dominant team in the game overall but they created a lot of chances they had a lot of shots and they had like a shot um, that hit the crossbar and a shot that hit the post, man. So the first one hit the um, the crossbar in the ninth minute. So they could have scored an opening goal. And then they almost scored in the 39th minute hit in the post, man. So very unlucky uh, for Boling, uh, Bolingi and uh, the goalkeeper, I want to say, uh, Tassand. Uh, um, the, sorry, the center back. Sorry, the center back hit the post too. Um, yeah, man. So very unfortunately. Um, they couldn't get a goal or at least a, a, a draw from this game, man. But um, I, I've been saying this, man. Egypt, man, once they play a tough team that's, that has like a killer instinct, 
probably like a Senegal. Nigeria looking good right now, like they could score goals, but like once they play a, a tough, tough team, man, it's going to be very interesting to see how they play, man, because so far they've been very well defensively, and they'll be outscoring team, man, but these two, these teams have been poor overall, like Zimbabwe and DR Congo, probably the two worst team in the group. Uh, also, Uganda, they're going to play Uganda next, who has been looking good so far, man. They have won one of their game and drew one of their game, man, so they're looking good so far, but I think Egypt should be able to top this group with uh, three wins. I think they should be able to beat Uganda in the next game, man. So I could see Egypt finishing this group with all nine points, and uh, Salah probably scored at least two or three goals, man. But uh, Trissiket, that's my guy, bro. He's been doing very well. And uh, for um, for DR Congo, man, it's not like one player. Only one player I could really say played very well and was very impressive overall has been their right uh, their right winger, um, Balingi. Um, he was superb, bro. Hit in the post. Very good, uh, look very good going forward, gunning down the wing, great dribbling skill, passes, crosses, it looked very good overall, man, so shout out to him. Their goalkeeper was very poor, man, probably was one of the worst play out there today, and uh, yeah, I don't know, man, I don't see them, I don't see them, uh, the next game we're going to play Zimbabwe, bro, I think I see Zimbabwe winning that game, or Jordan versus uh, DR Congo, man. To me, bro, I thought DR Congo would be like the second best team in this group, man, alongside Egypt, man, but... Uh, got it wrong, but yeah, stat-wise, Egypt had 52% uh, ball possession, while uh, DR Congo had 48% uh, ball possession. Shots in total, um, DR Congo had more, man, 10 more shots than uh, Egypt with 19 shots in total, and uh, Egypt's only had 9 shots in target, uh, uh, um, 9 shots in total. Uh, shots on target was even 3-3 for both teams, so uh, great win for Egypt, man. Looking forward to see what they do next. And uh, definitely gonna see them destroy Uganda, man. But definitely like, definitely subscribe. Let me know what team you support, man. Uh, DR Congo or Egypt. Without you boys, out of here. Peace.